It's home ice advantage for Heather Nedwin. Two big wins on Thursday put her Alberta team into the playoffs, and now they've got their eyes on more. With this year's Scotties in Red Deer and the Worlds in Lethbridge, they could become world champions without even leaving the province. Marie Franz LaRouche has a similar dream. Her new look Quebec team finished strongly for a 7 and 4 record, and now they can bring the province their first title since 75. It's due or die. Quebec, Alberta, 3 4 game at the Scotties. It is semi-final Saturday here in Red Deer, Alberta, the 31st edition of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts and a must-win situation here in a 3-4 game. The shot-making has continued to get more and more fantastic as the weekend has gotten closer. How about last night? 1-2 game. BC taking on Team Manitoba. Sasha yeah, Carter, yeah, one of those players yeah. battling the flu all week long. Oh, she said she finally felt 100% going into last night's action and did she ever. Watch the run back in eight. Hits the redstone, rattles the house, spills the two yellow. And British Columbia really carried the momentum throughout this game. Kelly Scott curled one of her best curling games of the entire week and they are moved on now to the final Sunday high fives you better believe it as they have a chance to win their third Scotty's title and this is how we've gotten there Manitoba BC last night of course the one two game BC all the way into the final a must win between Quebec and Alberta winner will face Manitoba later on in the semi-final tonight and you hear the crowd and that means the teams have arrived leading the way Heather Nedwin what great crowd support that she's got here in Red Deer Alberta Back here for the first time in over 10 years. And Marie France LaRouche and Team Quebec, one of the hottest teams in round robin play as they wrap things up. Of course, rattled off five wins in a note row. They have the rookie front end, Brendan Nichols is back, and Marie France LaRouche back on the national stage. Hi, everybody. Brian Mujer with you on this Saturday. And a lot of history for both these teams when it comes to Red Deer. Of course, Heather Nederwin won a World Junior Championship in this very city. Remember back in 2004, Marie France LaRouche made it all the way to the final before that heartbreaking loss to Colleen Jones. As mentioned, Marie France LaRouche, though, routed off five straight wins in round robin play before losing her final game. And that is a big reason why she has made it to this point. With much more on the game, up to the booth and Vic Rutter. Hello, Canada. Linda Russ alongside. You know, Russ, when you think back, uh, this Alberta team could have been in last night's 1-2 game if it were not for that brilliant draw by Kelly Scott against New Brunswick. And so now Alberta's in this 3-4 game, and I'm wondering if that even is on their mind. I don't think so, Vic. Uh, after all, they started 2-3, and three, so I think they're just happy to have a ticket here. Their goal was to make the playoffs, and, they, you know, they, they if they get past BC, or the, sorry, if they get past Quebec here, they really have the luxury of knowing that they beat both seeds, one seed and the two seed in Manitoba and BC. When it comes to Quebec, uh, Linda, I have to admit, the way they started, I'm surprised they're even here. But then, midweek, just something happened. It was like a switch went on against Team Canada. Quebec struggling, up and down play by Marie France Rouge, already sitting with three losses. But it was like in the last three ends of that game, Marie France Rouge said, stop worrying, just put down the broom and throw. She made all those shots. The next day, it was like they were a new team. This front end of the Alberta team has been spectacular. Heather Nedewin here at home and the crowd in the century of cheering her of course big storms north of here in Edmonton so we're wondering about the number of people who will make the drive south this is the 3-4 page playoff game it is Alberta against Quebec and Marie Franz LaRousse says she may start off conservatively just try to, to have less rock and play than the, the other game against her because we didn't have a lot of time. And I think at the beginning we tried to just be conservative. I've got a front end playing All-Stars, so we're going to go out there and play the game right from the start. It's a matter of believing and trusting that, you know, we've been playing well and we're going to go out there and play each shot just like the shot we need to do. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Sponge Towels Paper Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. The 
2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group. Proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. By Roll Up the Rim to Win. It's time for Tim's. And by Capital One. What's in your wallet? And on this Saturday morning, it's the 3-4 page playoff game. Alberta, Heather Nedowin leading her team in the final practice slides. Time to meet the teams who will play off for a spot in the semifinal. It's brought to you by Ford. Drive one. Hi, I'm Heather Nedowin, skip for Team Alberta. At lead is Lainey Peters, second Jessica Mayer, third Beth Iskew, and we curl out of the Savile Centre in Edmonton. I'm Marie-France Larouche from Team Quebec. My lead is Anne-Marie Fritto. My second is Amélie Blais. My third is Brenda Nichols. And we curl out of HMN Curling Club. Marie-France Larouche was a winner over Alberta in round robin play. And it's because of that win that she does get the last drop. She will have the hammer here in the opening end of play, playing the Yellowstones. Alberta will play the red. Heather Nedowin getting the game gloves on, brushes down, and we're ready to get it underway here in Red Deer. The Alberta lead is Laney Peters. The two teams have the same record coming into this seven and four, but there's pretty dramatic differences. And of course, one of the most dramatic is you have Alberta with the skip Heather Nedowin. She's emotional, she's intense, she wants to play aggressively. And then you have Marie France LaRouche, who is the, the quiet skip who would rather have the conservative style. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. And the game uh, they played was interesting. Six five game made it played on the last shot of victory for Quebec. And that is why they have the brick in this uh, first end here. Well, this, hey, I like this. You could have gone in if you're Alberta. But that is the difference. Marie-France LaRouche would have loved it because then you give your young front end a chance to play some hits and get the slider underneath you. But Alberta doesn't want to give them that chance. They want to push them right from the start. Quebec could counter and just throw it to the open side, deep behind the T line, forcing uh, Alberta to play uh, away from the center guards. And Marie Filto. And she'll go deep to the back 12. So let's take a look at the game plan for these two teams brought to you by World Financial Group. Your dreams, our strategies. Alberta is the more aggressive team in both Hammer and without. But with Hammer, put up those corner guards if you're Alberta. Get going. The only thing Heather has to do is keep her composure and calm. Quebec, I think they'll try and have that conservative start to build their confidence. Defense is the key for Quebec because they have not been able to score as much as Alberta, in particular with Hammer. Okay, that's fine. Laney Peters makes the takeout at the back, unable to hold the shooter. So another try for the Quebec lead and Marie Filto. She, along with Emily Blay at second, are in their first Scotty's appearance. And the way to counter that center guard position, as Russ said, you could go open. Your option, if you try to go around, is you have to stay high in the house. You can't leave them a chance to follow and make the freezes and taps. And once again, a little too deep. Sometimes it's a little tough. Uh, obviously, there's some nerves yeah, or some adrenaline, but Quebec uh, uh, was first out to throw practice rocks, having the advantage of hammer. They then throw practice first, and the ice does speed up a little bit as uh, second practice finishes. So they have been caught here twice already. Very nice. Miscue. And Peters on the brush, and that's one of the real strengths of this Alberta team is their brushing. Whoa, whoa. 
I think it's fair to say that Marie-France LaRouche in that up and down start to the week did struggle, and she wasn't the only one, with ice reading. Finding the way to put the broom down, finding the appropriate weight to match that amount of ice. It will be important for her team in this game to give her a clean release so she can more quickly pick up any spots that may be out there. 14-8? Yeah, I think 14-7, 14-8. First off, offensive chance here for Alberta. Taking line almost line. five feet of curl here. Gotta go for line, guys. Just for Mayer. Hard line. Six. Hard line. Five. Hard line. Right up. Hard. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Just really hard. Off just a little bit right beside each other. Oh, it's just beside each other, so it's hard for the double. There, so there you go. Show a little bit of rub, and it, they're not overlapped. Mm -hmm. Okay, just a little fresh <laughs> out there. We heard the comment oh, a little fresh out there, a little wider than they've been in practice. Hits a bit of the fresh pebble and just slows it down a fraction. The trouble for Quebec now is those two red stones are sitting separately. You saw the bounce off that Alberta got trying desperately to keep them apart so they can be run in or tapped up. So even if you draw around this, there is a run back possible. That's why you may not want to completely bury it. If they run it back, then theirs would be buried. And just a little tick on the way by for Emily Blay and takes enough steam out of it, stops back edge of the eight. Oh, you said uh, Quebec, third. right through their uh, their first Go back. their first four stones here, not looking very now. sharp 14, through uh, Fiddle Toe yeah. and Blay. One rock spin down. Let's go, Betsy. Yeah, as you can I see from this there. angle, uh, if Heather even half buries one, that yellow rock is detrimental to Quebec. And Beth is really a key to this team. You'll see wonderful numbers tied for second Father! amongst the thirds. Seven, it's her influence in the house, but in particular, her execution this week has been terrific. The best they could do, they stayed off it as long as they could to get it by. Just enough to save it. And again to the uh, back of the eight to sit one. You'll often see uh, people uh, criticize that, say, oh, they overbrushed it. Well, it was never going to get by, so they had to make a decision. And they left it as long as they could to get it by and managed to stay for Shot Rock. Brand new team for Marie Franz LaRouche. After last year's disappointment, other team members, well, life got in the way, basically. And so she looked and picked up Brenda Nichols at the third spot Nichols making a fourth appearance of the Scotty she was a skip in 2005 in St. John's although Brenda's numbers are just a little bit lower in that plus minus when you see how they outshot the opposing third you need five percentage points for a plus she was the best at third she loves these matchups oh another little rub but I like this. Yeah, I like this too. Kay. I think this is good here. Now so this is what you'll hear throughout the game. You have a third in Beth seven. Iskew. It's probably a good seven. thing. Yeah. She's the more conservative of the two when it comes to strategy. So when she talks to her skip, Heather Nedowin, there is often a little bit of a conflict. Beth likes to present the option. That's good. But sometimes she still fights the final call if it is the aggressive one. And when you're in the hack, you have to believe. Yeah, a little bit of doubt here for Beth. He's not impressed with this call, I don't think. Uh, without hammer, that yellow rock uh, that just ticked the guards in an awfully dangerous position. To the top four to sit two, and you can... Here, the Alberta crowd, of course. Over on the call. Nicely done. Well, they didn't uh, even flirt with that guard, uh, Russ. I wonder yeah, if they could have left it a little bit. Really? I and mean, even hidden a little more. Yeah, probably good enough a little bit sooner, but it's it's still in a pretty good spot. 
be tempting to run the rock that's uh, covering it, the one on the right-hand side guard, uh, run that back. A lot of good things could happen. So Brenda was asking about the come around, even a little tap versus the run back, but you just heard Marie-France LaRouche explaining why she would like the run back instead. Run back makes so much more sense. It, if, a, if you miss it, you open it up. B, if you ever get the top one off or possibly the back one, you, you might bring the two yellows into play. Brenda Nichols, as we play third stones here in this opening end, it's the 3 4 page whoa, playoff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And she'll run it by, leave the shooter out in front. Does open up, though, the shot stone top four. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very good plan B, and if you think of the draw tap, if, for example, they'd gone by, rubbed maybe, and rolled off, they would be in big trouble with another one being sunk by Alberta. Yep. Right there. Three, four, maybe, but let's try here. And that's enough. No. I think so. Well, it's straighter, though, Heather. No, it'll come, Beth. It'll come. Okay. Just by playing and uh, leaving that yellow in the rings by uh, the Alberta team now the, peeling the guard off. This has to be made. If you play this out, if this guard, for instance, doesn't curl, which uh, Beth is worried about, she's saying it's a little bit straighter, there would be a double to sit three. 10, 15, 10, 15. Yep. Just a Five and a half feet of ice, maybe six inches more uh, in theory uh, than normal. Skip stones here in the first. Tight, really tight. Another one. It's got to curl. It's got to move. It's got to move. You got to make me yes. Peter's on the right, pair on the left. Once again, Alberta is hitting two without last rock against Marie Franz LaRouche and her brand new team, and maybe surprising some people by getting to the final four. Yes, I'm surprised because we, we didn't play a lot of spiel this uh, this year, and we start the, the the year the season a little bit late. But I know my my teammates are very good. And I, I know we, we are able to, to beat everybody, but just uh, our, our goal was just to be uh, consistent. And at the beginning of the week, I was not consistent. My teammate was, yes. but I was not. So um, after the game uh, against Canada, I just practice and just try to focus on uh, through the right way uh, on the broom, just hit the broom. Here she is with her first, and again, trying just to run this back if it comes up to the nose. Pick it off. Oh, and she'll stuff it at the back. Very nice. Opens up the shot stone. Now back eight. It is a curious thing, Linda, because whatever happened, whatever she found in that game against Team Canada has worked. Well, many people say to me, when you get to a Scotty's, what's the biggest thing you have to think about? Well, probably it's actually turning the brain off in some ways because technical skills Heather, don't dramatically drop. Marie-France LaRouche didn't forget how to but throw a stone, but foot. your mental skills okay. have a huge impact, and she didn't look confident more. with okay. the ice, and she just said it. I was trying yeah, to make I the like perfect shot yeah, instead of just doing what I do in practice and in bonds during the yep. first part of the season, throw the right weight at the right room. The same. Oh, five. I like this to four or five guys. Okay. She can't hit it for sure. A little unfortunate for uh, Marie Franz. It almost made the uh, run back double. And the bad news is it kind of rolled it over left. right in front of her own rock. It's going to make it a little bit more difficult five. to hit it out. Fight five. Fight five. Okay, let's go, Heather. Same kick, I think. I think hey. so, yeah. Clean release here, right up the stick. Let's go, Hooch. Thank 
four. Mine's Six. good. Six. Walden. 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 Jess. Five. Let Man, it work. Five's Leave good. it high again, or do you come in? A we can stay with it. Kind of bring it top okay, eight. We're six. Well then. Yeah. Six. Fighting whoa, six. Fourteen. Seven. Whoa, 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 shorter, shorter, short. No. Whoa, easy. No, no, easy. no. It's going to be in a good spot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sit. Good spot. Good. To sit two without last rock. Yeah. Do you agree, Russ? Shot? Good spot. Well, it, <laughs> maybe. I, I think it, you know, it's forced uh, Quebec to a tough shot. It's very tough to draw through that small hole. And uh, so I think it forces her to hit it. And if she ever hits it and hits that back red incredibly thin, she scores three. Okay, the danger with this shot, if you, you're going to play the run back, if you can get that back run incredibly thin, it's a possible three, certainly a deuce, but if you ever hit it a little bit high side or about where the broom is, you may jam it. There's a great angle there. You might jam it and give up a single or maybe, maybe even two. Yeah, sure, you stuff them completely. And there's not much difference. You're an inch high side, you probably give up a steal of two. You're an inch on the low side towards the center line, and you might score as many as three. Final stone facing yes, two yes. with her last. Yes. Marie France LaRouche, Blay, yes. and wow. Filto wow. have picked her yes. up, yes. looking to run it back. Catch it thin. Oh, no, 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 no. nearly. Oh, wow. Exactly what you were saying. She nearly pushed it by. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> How close? That close as the shooter spills in for a single. Want to win a two year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus S? You can log on to FordHotshots.curling.ca and test your online curling skills. And for every participant at this year's Scotties, they also had a chance to win a lease on this 2012 Ford Focus Titanium by testing their on-ice curling skills. The final, a battle of skips. Newfoundland's Heather Strong against Northwest Territories Yukon's Terry Galusha. And thanks to shots like this, the hit and stick right to the button, Galusha is your winner. Winning a two-year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus Titanium. Don't forget to log on to FordHotshots.curling.ca for your chance to win. And just like Kerry Galusha, you too could drive away in a brand new Ford. Well, after being very busy the entire week of round robin, all four sheets in play, there's just the one, which is the center of attention here on this Saturday. 3-4 page playoff. Quebec against Alberta. Quebec just missing that thin double for three. Settle for the single. And so here in the second, Quebec leads it. Alberta, though, does have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the red stones. And as expected, Heather Nettowin has placed a corner guard on the outturn side. Two rocks in means you can hit these rocks, but you want to make sure you save the shooter. Whoa, whoa. Laney Peters will try and do that. Eight, four. Oh, shoot. Okay. And yeah, it may have just stayed in. That's a lot of weight. Mm. When you know you're playing as a team that wants to be conservative at the start, Laney threw that under nine seconds hog to hog. That's a lot of speed, and that means it's really hard to save the shooter on that particular shot. And now the appeal for Quebec as we try and take the aggressive opportunity away from Heather Nettowin. It's close to the red one here. It may just bounce in. No, oh. the double tick. Where was that one going? Yeah, but I don't. I think this one would have been coming down, and I don't yeah. know where. It, it yeah, that gone. might have bounced back in the rings if it hadn't double clicked there. Well, is it okay for you? Angle comes back towards the rings. Sorry. It was sliding backwards. Yeah, it's well, hard to know if it would be a biter. It might have kept moving enough to be out uh, yeah. totally. Okay. The agreement is that both will go out of play. Let's go, you know, more than once this week, uh, Linda Russ, you both said teams overthrow uh, the shot 
too much weight for the shot needed. And uh, we've seen rollouts and losing stones. I think in particular, if you're a team that lights rocks in play, you want to have an aggressive start to an end. That's why you put up the corner guard. It doesn't really matter if those rocks even go out of the mm. rings. If you want to say, well, maybe I'll get a two if I get some opportunities, well, fine. If you roll out and it's a blank, it's not as big a deal. But for Heather, every opportunity with Deuce, she wants to try and take it. Yeah, the mindset isn't to make that double. I mean, it, sometimes you sit in the hack and the uh, the player's no, no, not playing no, no, along. No. They look at the double and say, well, I can throw a little extra to make the double. But that was not the goal there. The goal is to hang around and use that corner guard later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Emily Blay with the flash on the corner guard covering the eight foot. Now she's struggling. If you think back to the first end, a rollout and a heavy draw, and now a missed peel. We tend to notice the uh, missed draws when people are under pressure, but I, I really believe it's the hitting that uh, becomes a problem. We tend to focus so hard on hitting the broom under pressure that you have that adrenaline going you kick out a little harder and that thing was also flying Hi. Hi. peters hey we're on the front split him off yep yep split him good and they will That's split good. them are you a little surprised that the alberta went with the out turn here yeah, we, I think so. Uh, there was room, uh, and I know what Heather's thinking. If you could half bury it, then if uh, Team Quebec hits it, they're going to roll wide away from the scoring area. But, uh, you know, it's fresh pebble out there. Second end, it's it's uh, a difficult shot. Brenda Nichols. You always want to, if you have the choice, you always want to throw the shot that you know. No, no, attendez, ça reste là. Keyline, edge of the button. Maybe the way he likes that. Behind. He can oh, come and more. just tap it back like a 9 -10. All the finish yeah. was late. Like Remember that. back to the first end, okay. Heather, on her last stone, we thought was playing a come around, took too much ice, and that's what put her into danger. They're still getting a little used to how much curl they're seeing, tight, but that finish is late. So if you throw T-line like weight, it will back give line. a little bit more curl as it's coming yeah, into the house. Let's go back. 13-ish. Okay, so back line. Yep. Nice and crisp here. Great selection on the weight call here. If you throw a back line weight, there's very little chance to miss this. If you, you miss narrow, you can hit the red. If you hit the red in the right spot, you might promote it into the rings, maybe even behind your own corner right guard. Yep. 70. Gotta go. And here they go. Laney Peters and Jessica Mayer. They have been go. brilliant on the brush Whoa. all week. Whoa. Easy, easy. Whoa. And you get across the nose. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. They'll roll it away from the guards and sit back edge of the floor. Yes. What was it? That was a nice spot. I could just kind of. That's good information to have. Beth noting how nicely that traveled down the ice. No huge break. Of course, that was partly the great release she gave it. So they'll remember that one. Nice spot to draw and to tap. Yes, 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 yes. Quebec trying to pull the play away from that guard. So they did not want to roll in behind. They would have been behind the T line. Nine, five, ten. Looking for the roll this time behind the guards, you think? Yes, yeah, I think so. And they're going to uh, try to utilize one or, or the other of those yellow, red rocks out in front. Beth Iskew. Even rolling the long way right to the back 12 foot's not bad. It'll give some more room for their next shot. Once again, Mayor and Peters. And no, just bangs it. On the nose, sits there, four foot. It's kind of tough here, Linda. Why can't they get the roll? Okay. Well, in that case, it's moving away, and uh, at the last, it finishes so hard, you're really having a tough time to get the roll. That's why you see Marie France go to this other turn to try and get a little bit of movement late. But they're still figuring it out. Don't forget, single sheet, a little bit different today. 
first two ends are a little bit of a learning time. Yeah, we're only talking a good inch, inch and a half, yeah. or that shot's made. to the relationship between Heather Nedowin and Beth Iskew, her third. And uh, earlier this week, we saw Heather Nedowin's heart almost, you know, say, Beth, trust me. You've got to trust me. It's interesting. Both Beth and I have, have a unique dynamics. We've been playing together for five years, and, and the word trust might have been the wrong word to say at that moment. But the trust between each other of us, the respect between us, um, we are a great balance between each other. And you can see it in the way we entertain each other out there. We are always smiling, laughing. Um, Beth is my Betty. We, she's, I'm her Dorothy. She's my Betty. We're going to grow old together as backenders. And you know what? We have a blast out there together. So I think in the heat of that moment when I said, trust me, it was more of, I've got a gut feeling and I want to go with this. Trust me. And here with Nedwin first again failing to get the, uh, get the roll. Look at this. Are skips allowed to have gut feelings? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are. And the hard part for the other three members, and in particular Beth, who's supposed to present the options based on a whole season of planning and playing and trying and looking at line score data and saying what was successful, she's supposed to present that information they've agreed upon in advance. And so for Beth to give it and Heather to say, no, I'm going with my gut instead, that is a little bit difficult. But she made it. But she, it turned out that was uh, yeah. partway through the end. It turned out Heather had a draw right. against four in that Eight. game to win. And she made it, Eight. but uh, it was a little nervous. Eight. 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 Yep, yep, roll up, yep, yep. 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 Roll, 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 roll. Once they decided they weren't going to hit a dead on, they tried to roll it to a spot that hasn't been played. That's a really smart move that sometimes gets overlooked. There could be a wee bit Thanks. more pebble out mm. here. Heather doesn't want to miss it wide. There's a chance it's to curl up to the nose and be forced to one. That 88 would be nice. Okay. Let's go, Heather, right up. You got her. Let's go, Hooch. Good throw here. So looking for the blank here in two, and those are two guards. Over on the left hand side of the sheet. Clean. Clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean. Nobody's yeah, been able to just clean, just clean. take advantage, make use. And out the side. So Alberto will get the blank. They'll hold the hammer. <laughs> Quebec continues to lead 1 nothing. It's the 3 4 page playoff game. Welcome back to the NMAX Centrium on this Saturday. It's the 3-4 game. We'll have the semifinal for you later. The winner will move on to play. Manitoba, Jennifer Jones. Quebec continues to lead 1-0. And after the blanket, too, once again, Alberta will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the red stripes. Nice. 2-3! When you have a more aggressive team in Alberta, I'm playing a more conservative team in Quebec. That blank is a little bit of a victory for Quebec. You don't want that to happen You're forever. You would love to force Four them to a single pretty Four soon. Five. But Sit Alberta down. had the chance. They got the miss on the Sit corner down. guard from Sit Quebec down. and just could not Four make use eight. of it. Okay. Just loses another chance here too by uh, Laney coming in uh, uncharacteristically uh, heavy here. Chance to sit two and uh, no opportunity to throw up a corner guard. Go, 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 go. Good shot, Anari. Move it. 
Yeah, I haven't seen a draw light today. Four or five of them a little bit deep, so it might be a bit quicker. If you're heavy the That's first good. time, you know the next time the brushers are going to have to work a lot harder, and they did. And a nice corner guard. I'd love to have it over a little bit wider, and that, uh, that could present a problem later in the end. I'm wondering if Heather did that on purpose so she can play those wide come arounds. We'll have to watch and see if she puts a few more in that same spot. Adelie Blay throwing the second stones for the Quebec champions. Bit of a shaky start for Emily. A little bit wide on that one. They're trying to come to the other side of that guard and uh, puts it out in the open. A chance for a straight back double or roll Barry either behind the corner. Red or the corner yellow. Jessica Mayer. Nine and a half. Full. Close. Full. 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 No. Girl. Nine four. Okay. And too thin, she'll lose the shooter out the side. Love to see a hack weight thrown on those type of shots. You're, you're, you've thrown a corner guard. You've, you've right. ignored two uh, opponents' rocks in the rings. Your goal, obviously, is to score points. It's hard to do it if they bounce off to the wall. So just keep that weight down. Give it to the brushers. Check on mine. Check the weight. Filto is on the left. Brenda Nichols on the right. They were looking at top 12, were they not, Linda? You just, they're having trouble with two things, Vic, weight and line. A lot of these are open, they're coming in too deep. Now, we have to say it's a playoff game, and this is a sudden death playoff game, and there may be a few nerves, but uh, definitely they're struggling right now. None of them are really being thrown to the brushers, that's for sure. It wasn't the best of starts for Alberta and Heather Nedewin, as you can see, two and three to start. But then they got more consistent, and down the stretch, only loss was to Quebec, as they won five of six. And then just missing that spot in the one-two game, a wonderful draw by Kelly Scott against New Brunswick with her final no, stone. No, and then New Brunswick no, unable to pick it. And so she stole the win and yes, yes, stole her way into yes, the one-two yes, game. Whoa, Brenda Nichols. Yes, yes, whoa, yes, whoa. Cross the nose. No, right on the beak and avoids the jam. Rebecca is sitting three without last rock here in the third. You know, one thing you like about Marie-France LaRouche that time, Brenda was actually calling the opposite thing. And <laughs> when Marie-France was struggling, I think she might have backed off with that call. But that time, you heard Marie-France and what she wanted to do, and she was right. Once this crosses the tape, it will move. Penny Peters, whoa. Jessica Mayer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Backed it up whoa. for him. Whoa. Girl. And got a little bit of a flip, and it's covered now.
So look at that win against Canada. That was when the light went on or the switch was flicked, whatever you like to say. That's when the confidence came back from Louis Franz LaRouche. Despite the loss to Manitoba in the final game, they uh, had a great run down the stretch. You notice that they played Alberta the game after Team yes, Canada. Yes. That's when the confidence came back. I'm sure Heather Nedouin wasn't very happy that suddenly Quebec was playing that well. Oh, there's a great curling shot right there. Perfect speed. Managed to hit it thin enough to knock it past their own rock and still stay in the rings. The brushing for all these teams, Linda, I've noticed has improved over the years just okay. immensely. You know, making a big difference on these shots. Nice and crisp. The rocks are eight foot, so there is still room to get a couple of rocks into a good spot. Fine, Trying for their good. deuce with Seven. hammer this end. Okay, let it work. It's a confident Seven. skip that will uh, leave three Seven. opponents' Seven. rocks and throw a draw. There could Seven. soon be yep. four yellow in there. Easy. Yep. Easy. We're over curling. Come to the back one. Come to the back one. Yep. Let it go. To the back No bounce. No bounce. Whoa. No bounce. Easy. No bounce. Whoa, Easy. Jess. Whoa, Jess. No Whoa, bounce. Jess. Trying to drag Whoa, it down Jess. to the back. Hey, sit for shot stone. This front end for uh, Alberta, Laney Peters, Jessica Mayer, Beth Hiskew as well. They they worked on their brushing, Linda. They uh, spent time working with uh, Marcel Rock, and we remember Marcel, of course, Canadian world champion. He and Scott Pfeiffer were the huffing and puffing, remember, of a few years ago. And uh, they worked on their biomechanics to get over the brush to, and really, Coach Daryl Horn believes now they're actually saving some shots for Heather Nettowin. Well, the idea was that men and women were moving the brush head with the same speed, but they weren't getting the same pressure in women. They don't have the weight and the muscles to be able to do that same pressure. So you have to take that rather unstable position right over the brush head, and they're doing a great job. Yes, that link up right to the Chip up. Yes, that's right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Don't need to roll here. Okay. Like that looks like again. now two yellows. Go back sitting two. Do it. Just do it. Gotta be to it though, because I don't want her to be able to. Well, that's why I'm just wondering if we don't well. tap and roll or just tap and stay right there. Either way, like an eight nine, right? Okay. Okay. It's a great shot over there. If Heather okay. can well, just move this back I know, up I was foot, tight, it might be better than the actual freeze. Create a little bit of a wall. Just an eight, girls. Okay. You can bump it. You bump it a little bit. It's okay, but I don't want to roll off of this. Okay. She's saying just an eight, a seven uh, would put you on the button, and eight is back four foot sure. weight. What'd you guys get for long? On hers? Yeah. Okay. 14 two. Okay, so it's about 14, 14 and a half. Are you looking for a lady? Let's go. Heather, right 15 up. seconds hog to hog for draw. Probably 14 and a half to tap it. And with brushing, you know you can be a little bit lighter with these strong brushers, and they can carry it. Here they go, yeah, yeah. Peters and Mayer. Whoa, 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 sit. On the corner. It's nice to hear uh, Heather Nedowin in fine voice again. She was having trouble earlier in the week, uh, but our own uh, doctor here, Doogie Howard, was, uh, <laughs> he came up with the solution. What did you tell her? Well, I learned that trick from a gentleman I met years ago, a guy by the name of Vic Router. Yeah. And uh, but it, a five aspirin, crush them up, nice put one. them in some very hot water, as hot as you can stand, salt and water, gargle with nice it, one. and uh, your voice comes. It's unbelievable, Vic. And you, uh, thanks to you, you gave me that trick, and I passed it on. And 
Um, you, your voice comes back almost immediately. You, you could bleed to death with all the aspirin, but <laughs> there are side effects. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, yeah, she's, uh, she was quite thankful. She, she mentioned you in several of their she articles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It works well. Oh, this is a little wider. A little wider here. And you don't want extra speed. We already said the brushers can carry it, and that one is strong. Oh, boy, there's a hole here now. There's a hole. And the rub and the roll off. It's a, uh, interesting draw weight hasn't failed her very often since that uh, Canada game, but fails her there. Those are the ones that are maybe the most frustrating for you as a player, coach, team. The only thing you can't do is throw it heavy. Mm. If you are a little light, you might have to at least force the team trying to draw for two to play a different turn. But coming deep, that leaves the exact same path for your opposition. And you've already seen if you're Murray France, Heather make a nice one in that spot. So Alberta and Heather Nedowin have a chance here to draw for two to take the lead. One minute. Did you pull off, Heather? No, it's good. Eight, whoa, six, whoa, seven, whoa. Eight, whoa. No they take a split no time. Back, That's what they're trying to find out no how backing. she threw it. No, Thought she may have pulled the string no a little bit. She said no. Whoa. No backing yet. Okay. Whoa. Might need 14, a little. Boy, it's she's bad. done the same whoa. thing here. Okay, no backing yet. She gets right on the line. Hit a piece of her own should be fine. Yeah, boy, there it is. Guys, perfectly for two. To the cheers to the crowd here in Red Deer, Alberta takes the lead. Oh, we talked about Randy Furby and his front end, great front end, the Canadian and world champion on hand here. You watch this Scotties in Red Deer. Of course, he's a former skins champion too and we're looking forward to the 2013 the dominion all-star curling skins game all-star the game will feature a brand new qualifying format you across the country will determine who plays you can vote for your favorite canadian men's curlers online at tsn.ca the four skips will then select the remaining 12 players through a random draw and we'll have that draw for you Live on TSN January the 17th of next year. Go to tsn.ca slash skins game for more details. And uh, David's up there. Randy's down there. Of course, two of Canada's finest to ever step on the ice. Welcome back. Alberta gets there too after the last rock miss. A little too heavy by Marie Franz LaRouche. Alberta gets two, so here in the fourth, it will be Quebec with the last rock once again. They have the hammer playing the yellow stone. Yes, there! We're there! They won't. Oh, oh, oh. 14 4. Nicely done, Lainey. Good for Jessica. She was being called off and called on, and she wanted to make sure Heather knew exactly where that was, so she kept yelling. He kept giving the information, and because of that, Heather did call them off and got a little more curl. Very nice shot. Nice. Just right in a good spot, top of the no, top no. of the four. Please. No, 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 no. Are we like killing that yellow? Six, Just missed the double, but still did leave the shooter. We were talking about what, that earlier. Yeah, matter. I don't mind the draw too. What do you want? Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go, Jess. Heel. Three choices here. You can you could go around this one as uh, Heather wanted to do. A uh, little yeah. aggressive yeah. without hammer. You can play the peel, which is the safety shot, and you are up a point. Or you could just simply guard that rock you have on the button. You could get them both here if it's thin enough. Yep, yep. Okay. What's the 
great thing about our sport. There's uh, usually way more than one option. And they're not all bad either. It's not like one is 100% right, and one's 100% wrong. It's just what you prefer, what spot you know, who you're playing, and the scoreboard, of course. There's occasions when you can be 100% wrong. Yeah, that's wrong. true. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> but not in that one. Ten, ten and a half. Let's go, Jess. Straight up here. Playing yeah, second strong go. foul here oh, in this fourth, he Jessica Mayer. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go. Hard, hard, very hard, close hard. to rolling perfect. Go, 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 go. A little bit more. Interesting, Linda. I think. I'm just your opinion here it, the game quite obviously isn't as complicated as we saw last night with with uh, Manitoba and BC not as many stones in play is that indicative of the way these two teams play the game or is it just not set up for them uh, it's indicative of the way Quebec prefers to play so even though we've seen some guards Quebec will go to an earlier bailout Although last end uh, continued to put some rocks in play, so that one really didn't show. But in general, Quebec would be the one, Vic, to try and keep it more open. No, no, no. Nope. Boy. Poor Emily is uh, Just a nose, ten. having her struggles here in this 3-4 page playoff. Ten, ten and a half. Definitely the lowest player on the okay. ice. Oh, yeah. It's been a little okay, of everything, sorry, a little heavy, here. a little inside. Okay. Ten still. Ten, ten and a half. Okay. Go right up. Let's go, Bethy. So if you're Marie-France LaRouche, how do you get her out of her funk? Well, it's a good point, Vic, because Nine. it happens a lot. Although you try to prepare yourself as best for a game, in this case, it might be nerves for this uh, rookie on the front end. So you move the broom, you change the turn, you try different weights. Uh, it wasn't a complicated shot, so it would have been hard to say you could have made it a simpler shot, mm -hmm. but you could try something different with weight. Well, last evening, of course, in that uh, one-two page so playoff, play, yeah. we yeah. we saw Jill Officer for us miss some shots Offer. uncharacteristically. It certainly was, and uh, the worst part, it was usually just a shade heavy, which is, uh, in most cases, the wrong way to miss. Um, I saw them out this morning uh, practicing and playing around with some different rocks. So uh, maybe they had a couple of rocks that would glide a little bit farther and uh, they'd get ready for their semifinal tonight. And that is one team, Vic, that often stays pedal to the metal even when they're struggling. And Jennifer had a chance in the second half of the game, the one two game, because of that. But it's demanding. Oh, Very that's nice. better. Brenda Nichols makes the hit and roll behind the corner okay. guard. Normal. Remembering now that Quebec right does have the last rock here in four, trailing by one. Big shot here, not taking much ice. This bends what roughly an inch to make this perfectly. We know it is straighter outside in, but that's nice. pretty tight ice. Whoa! 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 Beth is cute. Whoa! Whoa! Run it back, and very nice. Did pop out into the open on the wide side. Just over curled a fraction of a great throw. Beth's had a wonderful week, very Good consistent nice tonight, and I just love her delivery. It's beautiful release, uh, great balance. a little wider and a much Three. different kind of path probably will run for a bit didn't come back makes the takeout okay. 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 sorry I'm pretty loud. two choices right here seven. without the hammer you'd love to force so you could draw seven around this late in you could draw around that corner guard obviously if you come behind the yes. t-line you might set up an opportunity for a two yeah. or go to the open side which is what Heather's decided she's hoping that uh, Marie Franz might roll out and then you can bury your next one I guess just a seven guys 
It's a little surprise only yeah. because Heather is usually quite aggressive and it's not a terribly risky situation as long as you tuck a piece of that rock. Great opportunity to uh, force Quebec to a single. Just let it work. Let it curl a bit if you can. Switch around there. Seven. Okay. Let it work. We want it to cross center. As much as it can. 14-4. Didn't curl much. Okay. Is it done? Okay. See, that didn't move as much as I thought it would. No movement, hey? No. Nice throw, 100. Okay. Lack of curl surprised them a little bit. It did, Vic. Well, I'll keep an eye on that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Again, we, we point out this uh, single sheet, always a little different. After a week-long four sheets in play, as Lyndon Russ have said before, the, the air oh, currents are different. So maybe straightening up a little bit. On peut même rouler de son côté un peu à midi. Okay. Let's go. Wait, light. These are always tough decisions. I find you, you hit and roll buried, and if Heather locks one on, then you're forced to one. Please. The other option knows it, and hope yes. they knows it, and then yes. you can blank the yes. end and start fresh. But yes. Yes. It also gives Alberta a chance to hit and roll buried. Yes. Fiddle toe and play. And rolling it over as far as I can, a little bit more. Ah, yes. oh, shoot. And it spins that, back. No, it's wide open. Oh, it's, yeah, and it'll come across. Oh, yeah. That was an interesting situation uh, there because Iskew jumps on it, mm -hmm. wanting to drag it out, and then <laughs> seeing she was a little late to the party was Brendan Nichols. Yeah, she was not in position to brush. That is uh, Alberta brushing, and there's Brenda trying to jump in, and it spins back a little bit. I think she wasn't really sure where it was going to land and was surprised that it didn't go even further. Nice clean throw here. Let's go. She could see all of it, and you gotta go. So Peters and Mayer all over it now. Get it by the guard, yes. And they'll roll it to bite, or just back of the forefoot. But a good case of maybe just what we're talking about. Peters and Mayer saving them, saving one for the skipper. Well, you can have a big impact on hits if you brush early, as long as the player gives you a release that will hang in there. It didn't break too hard for them. I guess Heather was a little inside. Thanks very much. Good. They're going to fall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Final still, looking for yeah. the blank. Marie Franz LaRouche. No, right okay. on the nose, and so missing the opportunity. Go back, forced to take the single, or even at two through four. It's all coming up tomorrow. Billy Crystal returns to host the 84th Academy Awards. We'll see it at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on CTV. That was an award-winning shot right there. 2-2. As we welcome you back to the NMAX Centrium, the home of the Red Deer Rebels of the Western Hockey League. They're on a uh, eight-game road trip. They'll be back here. Their first home game will be March the 2nd against Swift Current. We're tied at two after Quebec was forced to take one. And four. So here in five, it's Alberta that has the last rock playing the Red Stars. 
Quebec has made some mistakes, as we've seen, in the numbers between the two teams. There's quite a difference, quite an advantage for Alberta in particular. Heather Netto went out curling Marie-France LaRouche. So I guess one more time, Quebec a little fortunate. Their conservative play has them at least just tied, and they still have time to turn it around, as we've seen all week. And they've turned it into a six-end game. Lainey Peters wouldn't be happy with some of her shots. A guard that came in and that draw is deep and leaves Quebec lots of room to try and get in behind their own guard. And a refill toe. Seven six. To the top of the button. Okay. Line's good. Six. Oh, it's oh, really whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're there on our own. Whoa. We're there on our own. Okay, let it work. Wait, let it great. Whoa. No, no, no line. Whoa. We're tapping we a little bit. Whoa, no, tapping. no, 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 no. Tapping. No. Shoot. Was it 14-2? Curious here, Russ, because they seem to be fooled a little bit. The the first word from the the brushers were six, so that would have been it put at top four. But the way it was gliding, that would have gone maybe back line. Exactly. Yeah, they are being fooled, and that's unusual. We talked uh, the, when we had a round robin game with Alberta. I was so impressed with their judgment. So it's one of two things: either Laney's got. Uh, rocks there glide a little farther, a little bit smoother, certainly that second one, or they're being fooled in this particular spot. Here's another one that looks a little bit deep, that, and, and it happens a lot in arena conditions. If you polish a spot, uh, three or four rocks down the same spot with some good aggressive brushing, you can uh, warm that surface up two, three degrees, and it just becomes that much faster, that much slipperier, and uh, they definitely are being fooled here. Oh boy, a little uh, tap and roll by Emily Blay. Um, Board. That okay. call surprised me, and it was based on the fact that Amelie is curling 59%. Marie France control, may not know the number, but she knows spot. what's coming at her, okay. and it would have been a little simpler okay, to just hit that it's rock. Even if you roll away, at least you're forcing the opponent to come in and maybe set something up for you. Iskew Peters trying to save this one. Oh, they did, and she'll spring them both. Hits it so thin that it actually goes, redirects in behind their own red one. I didn't think that was possible to get by the guard that tight to hit. It looked like the uh, top yellow would redirect onto the red, but hit it so thin. <laughs> oh. I threw it pretty good. Was it okay? Wait. Yeah. Shooter stays. Top four. Yep. Yep. Alberta yep. sitting one. Wait, yep. Second yep. shot is Quebec. Back eight. Yes, yes, yes. Now Filto yes. and Nichols yes. as it's diving yes. towards that guard as well. Yes. Another big scrub now. This time Quebec. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and inside roll and sits now. Maybe peeks out the other side. Shot stone, though, is still Alberta. Okay, send it into here. You like that, Beth? Yeah, I do. I do Normal. too. I like that call, Normal. Linda. You you start yep. uh, freezing in there. It's going to be a little bit difficult to. Uh, generate enough area to score some points and if this is run back properly you can a get the shot rocker you can certainly get that outside yellow yeah, and that leaves go. two red in the rings trying to hold the line you hear is you say we got it we got it oh yes they do look what that does for team alberta now it's opened the front up to allow the skipper to make their last one it's hidden the shot rock a little bit yeah. and two or three are now in the equation 
great evening again. Thank you. This is why I was so surprised at Quebec's approach. Normally the conservative team leaving this many rocks around is really not like them. It could be very costly. Third stones here in this fifth. Quebec's Brenda Nichols. Play and Filto. Whoa, 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 whoa. And all over the guard. Ray Stone. Stay. Shooter back. 12. Sometimes you don't have to play the aggressive shot to be aggressive. They, by opening that okay. front up, it, what do you want it, for it, it we gives so many okay. more options to Alberta. Yeah, let's go right up. Nice clean throw here. Right let's up go back. Chris Burley's here. And that one did come from the hack in that suggestion it's to Heather. Yeah. Right up. France is now going to have to try and get out of trouble without the benefit of any guards to roll behind. Wait's great. Peters and Mayer jumped hold it, on this. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. No roll. No and the roll is over. Oh, it looks like it spins a little too far. First and second shot do belong to Alberta. They do have the last rock here in five. And that's a huge rollout, trying to maintain a rock in the wings, knowing your other two stones are a little bit grouped. And that was a wide open hit. Me a little more it was a little yeah. too far. Okay, mais le double est quasiment né. Ben non, un petit peu off the guard pour faire ça. Is the double there? Point Certainly ici, is. Là. No question about it. Just, just a shade off center. Moi j'aimerais le double. Okay, on y va avec ça. So, Normal. sounds like Normal Brenda Nichols okay. may have talked. It's good to see. Marie ouais. Franz into this, but Marie Franz was looking for something else initially, was she? I don't think so. No? Okay. I'm not sure what else they do, Vic. I think this would be it. Just lining it up, maybe. The only real danger is to get it dead on and jam it onto that back yellow that's virtually out of play. Yep. Whoa. 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 Yes! 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 Oh. Just off the nose. Like that. Go, 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 go. Oh. Okay, it's out. It's out. It's out. Just yelled whoa on the brushing in time. They knew they'd missed the double, and uh, a lot of teams won't do that. They keep right. hoping they could hold it, hoping they could hold it. But Marie France realized that if they kept sweeping that, it could have jammed. And just yelled whoa in time. Okay, right up here. We're nice and crisp. You got this. Always the same buzzwords. Nice, crisp, clean release. Yeah, the team uses the same ones over and over. That doesn't always work for everybody to have the same words for some of us. It's better than saying, don't be narrow. Or you idiot. thinking. Go, go, go! And again, rolling it away. Two sit, two. You know what? I made an error on your story. Not only I could have left that your first one and got the double. Ah, touch pas, okay. Ben, en tout cas, moi, je trouve pas qu'elle touche là. T'as tout regardé? Non, non, j'ai pas regardé. Ouais, je vois un peu de blanc. Avec la ici. The only danger here is hitting this a little thin, and uh, this uh, this rock here can come into play on a jam. Now oh, this is a big shot. Because Quebec is not normally as good at scoring themselves, so defense is very important to them. And so a little hit and roll here would go a long way to helping that cause. If you see in round robin play the deuce, getting two or more with the hammer, that's one of the lowest of any of the playoff teams. That's below 30%. That's your target. They're forcing the opponent to one when the opponent has the hammer. Not bad at 33%. You're not going to score yourself yes, as many yes, points. You have yes, to hold them yes, off the board. Yes, yes, yes. The reprise, yes. LaRouche. Got it. Oh, and avoided the jam at the back, but will lose the shooter. Is that in? Is this one in? Okay. 
Okay, looks good. Will it curl this much, Heather? You know what? Probably not, no. Take less. 105. I think it's taking 100. Are they going to play down to those stones at the back corner? Yeah, or just over to the side. Sitting two is the main thing. You don't want to overcurl this, but yeah, they can. If they, if they get that similar angle, then there is no double opportunity because if uh, Marie France hits maybe half a rock, it could jam onto those two. And you can see that the uh, Quebec stone is, at the moment, second shot. Well, the question was whether that red one was in or not, and... Uh, from here, it looks yeah. <laughs> quite out, but we've seen this before mm -hmm. where we thought, well, there's no chance, and the measuring stick almost touched it. It's very close. Let it work. Let it work if you can. Let it work. Take Let it a work. look. We're Take we're a good. look. Heather Nedewin and her first Whoa, Alberta ladies. with last rock in this 2-2 tie. Whoa, Whoa, ladies. Looking okay, to take fine. the lead before the break. Let it work. Whoa, Whoa. We're okay. Steep. Whoa. That's okay. Nine. Nine. Right back to here. No double. Hard. Hard. Just hard. 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 That's pretty good. That spot's just faster, hey? That's fast. That was 113. Yeah. Well, this, it's interesting. Here we are a week after this all began. And what is the first okay, thing we noticed? Again. You noticed is those inside outside shots were a little quicker they just ran a little bit more are we and then it sort of disappeared midweek as it returned now here I mean, in this 3-4 game I absolutely think so you heard Heather say it and uh, that that's the uh, the tricky part is it, ice is the ice here has been unbelievable uh, especially at the end of the game it holds up for, for draw weight some areas uh, in uh, different clubs you play at it slows right down but it's been great here but uh, yes it changes and it's definitely quicker inside out today oh. Oh, no, never. two choices to double or a hit and roll on top and that's what you'll do hit and stay right there having a look I think coming here we can be that. Yeah. Yeah. Shot is the Alberta Stone center line. Yep. Back eight foot. So it's a draw for two and the second deuce for Alberta. Would you risk though? Right up here. Trying the the double on the yellows. Could you hold your shooter and then put the stick to that one on the outside? I don't think so, Vic. I don't think the angle's there, and, uh, especially when it looks like it's iffy anyways. It wouldn't be worth the gamble. To, if that rock was over a good foot, you could play it with a straight back takeout. But the key thing is get your two here. Take a look, though. Take a look. Take a look. Looks like lots, guys. Oh, ladies. Peters. No, no, no. Back right off now. You can't touch the back. No, no, no. And you can't bump that shot stone very much. Don't touch it. This is close. Can't touch that stone very much. Not very much. Oh, and they may have bumped it. I think it's okay, but the pressures were calling out seven. That would have landed two. on the button. Yeah. Two. It, it is, is two. two. Boy, oh boy. So we've we've seen that a couple of times. Front end misjudging stones. We go to the break. Alberta has a two-point lead. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. Sometimes it takes a big shot to get you out of trouble. And it was Jessica Mayer, the Alberta second in that fifth end of play. Alberta with the last rock and Mayer. With Iskew and Peters on the brush, runs it back and will leave Alberta sitting the one. They went on to score two for a 4-2 lead. And Heather Nettowitz with Brian. 
Heather Jessica makes that really nice run back in five. You have a pair of deuces here. You have to be pretty happy with the way your team is executing so far. Yeah, I'm definitely pleased with the way the team is playing. We're setting up the end, and it's just a matter of uh, getting a little close on that draw there, but just noticing the ice changes. Did you feel it was good out of your hand in five, your final stone? You know what? Yeah, it's just we can tell it's straightening up and getting faster, and we noticed that in the games that we watched previously, so just have to adjust to it. And finally, how much has this team worked on your brushing? Because it really seems your front end has saved a lot of stones for you this week. Yeah, no, the girls did a lot of work over the summer preparing, and actually they even switched sides, so it's been a good adjustment, and I must say they're they're pinning my shots, and that's that's all I can ask. Glad to hear the voices coming back. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. And then let's take a look at the numbers after five. And there's no magic to how you get four points. Overall, Alberta out curling at every position except lead. But a huge difference at skip. You saw Heather Netto win at 90%. Marie-France Larouche at 68%. Quebec's had those turnarounds earlier in the week. They have to do it here. And maybe Coach Camille Larouche will have some answers for Quebec. They'll have the last rock when we start in six. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? By Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. And by World Financial Group, proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. Well, both the skips in this 3-4 game, Linda, have a history with Red Deer. Of course, it was Marie-France LaRouche losing a final in 04, but it was a big win, a world junior win in 1996 for Heather Godberson, Carmen White, Christy Moore, and Carolyn Bloor. World junior champion. Welcome back to the NMAX Centrium on this 3-4. Page playoff day, Saturday. Two for Alberta in five means that it will be Quebec that has the last rock. They have the hammer playing the yellow stones here in six. First stone from Alberta goes center line. Top of the, just bites the top of the button. First rock now from Quebec lead, and marie Filto. Well, we've had a consistent uh, diet of rocks a little okay, bit heavy not a lot heavy but a bit heavy and uh, we, we always talk about the shamming the ice in the fifth end break and that adds to the speed and there's another mistake deep no corner guard and Linda whatever you've talked about if you're Quebec in that uh, break goes out the window now well, you lose this end as far as your advantage with strategy you have the opportunity to get the corner guard in place and with that hit, now you're facing two, and so your manufacturing of that extra point comes with a totally different plan. And Marie is a phys ed teacher. In fact, both she and Marie Franz LaRouche teach phys ed. Talked about how aggressive Alberta is, but the one thing we do know when we look at the stats is when Alberta gets a lead, they are very good at keeping that lead. They can defend it. As a matter of fact, Jessica Marinbeck is you have thrown many more shots as hits over the course of round robin play. That comes from building up that lead with the aggressive play and then letting these two players, Jessica and Beth at third, play those hits. So if you're Quebec, you don't want to lose those opportunities to get some rocks in play and maybe get the deuce yourself. Nice way, 10 right on the nose. Good. Well, two mistakes by uh, and Marie Filto, heavy on goal. Heather. So, just like that, Alberta is sitting three without last rock. Nice shot. Can't wait. A couple of choices here. You could, you could actually uh, hit the middle of those two rocks, and uh, the way they're lined up, there's a pretty natural triple. But that's not going to score you two points either. So, they're going to try to come down and either freeze or tap these top two a uh, little bit. 
The position of that broom is an indication of the ice being a little straighter, but also a lot of players on this team, Amelie and Marie France in particular, have that in out release. So if you see the broom go down in different spots, that's based on the deliveries being a little bit different. Okay. <laughs> I think that means that's too heavy. <laughs> Hoping to curl another that's inch or so and move both reds behind the T line where they're useful for Quebec. But that's three stones here in six, all three heavy. Exactly, and uh, you know, we, we talk about the nerves, but it, it is quick out there, and as we heard from Heather in the uh, fifth end break interview, it, it's getting a little straighter. If it gets straighter, it usually gets faster. Most of our lives in, a re in a curly club conditions, Vic, the ice tends to slow down as the game goes along, and you get to an arena, and in some cases, not every time, but a lot of cases, it gets definitely straighter almost every time, but certainly faster. And, that can really throw you off. Well, the ice makers do a wonderful job with pebbling, layers of pebble of different sizes so that sliding surface down the center does not break down mm -hmm. late in the game. So you don't see that. We used to call it fudging, the, the path in the middle being yes. really difficult. They've done a terrific job of keeping the ice together for yes. 10 ends plus all that practice. David Merkling was telling me that uh, all this brushing down the middle, you can think about almost all the rocks are close to that center line. Here's a good example here. The brushing warms the surface up. The surface actually will go up as many as three or four degrees, and that actually gives you that extra speed. All right, Zico, nice and crisp. Now, we all know why Quebec is trying to tap these rocks back. That's to make a little more room to set up the deuce. But Alberta is very happy with this plan. I'm sure they would much rather be playing these shots. If Quebec played a freeze, for example, they'd have to be lining up angles and worrying about the way to hit these out. And again, Mayor and Peters have done a lot of this so far today. After those where they're a little bit uh, unsure of why it does what it does, uh, you'll see Heather Hello, call to good. Jessica Wait, with the I, time, hog-to-hog -to -hog speed. They can talk about the release and speed and then figure out why maybe it didn't do exactly what they thought. Brenda playing with her fourth different skip. Well, she was a skip herself, so this would be here a third. Stephanie Marshall back in 96, Ev Belial in 10, and now with Marie Franz LaRouche. Okay, I got to slide a little better for you, Mr. Yeah, you will. This Same is the way. toughest shot no. uh, Alberta's Last had, a wide open 19, hit so far. It's 10. a perfect end and uh, very little no, chance of a blank back. now. It's getting late that late. And as long as these red stones that are near the top of the house stay separated, it's really hard to draw whoa, around them whoa, for easy, Quebec easy, and have easy. any chance of your rock staying. Whoa. It would just be run back. Whoa. So you're looking for maybe a mistake and an overlap situation. That's right. Okay, that's good. Shooting Rainy. four. Nine, Nine three. Nine. 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 I'm trying to little tap back again. I, sometimes we miss the details of what goes on between the four players on the ice, and that's why I'm so interested with Alberta, the way they share information. It's terrific. Mm -hmm. You need that information, and there's many different ways to do it, and they've decided that Jessica is the manager of speed, and that will help them at the brushing end figure out how those rocks are being played. There again, just playing a little tap to the back of the 
<laughs> Eight foot, and it looks like the stone at the back now, the raised stone, is the shot rock. They are piling up here for Alberta. When do you get nervous if you're Quebec? Well, they're in the 12 foot still, and if this shot is made, and just sits there, and there's actually a pocket at the back for Marie France. So at this stage, as a last rock thrower, you've accepted the so risk and, and two, aren't right. as and worried. If you feel that, she's just going to come right down here. So let's get in there first. Here's oh. good, or we just tap this in here. What do you like? I, like I don't know what I like better. Yeah, me too. I think I like this better. You know, the other we thing we do on the the high side is just peel this and get this and open this straight up. Then she still comes yeah, down Yeah, but here. I should be able to blast it, you would hope. True. Can what do you girls hit? like? You like the hit? Just the hit. Okay. Let's we can hit and yeah. tap this a little yeah. bit in. Okay. Okay, what do you want to throw? Normal. Okay. Just the, a nine. Okay. So basically, same thing you threw. Okay. If Lots we, of options um, on this shot for Heather Nettle. Yeah, you could play the come around, Vic. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. They, they talked talked about coming into this area, but now they're going to play the hit. And if they what they're going to do here is try to get the yellow at this way, obviously, and that will kick this red over a little bit and maybe even into the rings. But the danger, I think, is now that releases these two rocks. And they, um, Heather said, I think I can move that yellow one out of there if uh, Marie France puts it in there. But I think it's very possible that she can put it in a spot that it cannot be removed. I think one of the things the team is thinking, and this is the part of strategy, all the factors you have to take into play as we watch. Oh, they're talking about maybe missing. this goes, No, no problem. Go off, go, 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 One of the factors in choosing your shots is the opponent. And I think at this stage, they're seeing a Quebec team that doesn't have their draw weight. And so you're banking a little bit with your strategy call and a mistake happening by Marie-France LaRouche. Marie-France came down and tapped straight back one of those rocks, then you would be able to pick hers out. Okay, That's so a calculated the risk every time, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. If this is made perfect, you're going to go, why did I do what I just did? But it does have to be very... So she wants to nestle right into the into the pocket. Maybe even move the uh, left hand one an inch or two. Uh, right now, if, if you throw solid, you could hit it dead on and jam it across the top. So just maybe move yeah, that an inch or two and stay in between, and yeah. it will be yeah. tough to get out. Well, Heather Nedewin said yeah. to Bev History, you know, I can we'll probably blast it. Yeah. We'll it depends on how well this is made now by Marie France Larouche. No, tap, Just tap it an inch or two. That's all you have to do. So you don't blast. There's no way of blasting That's now, good. it would seem. Really what do you do now? You're just going to have to freeze on top there somehow, or you could actually release the red rock, as Linda says. What's that, the... Uh, the bread in the sandwich? Yeah, you want to make sure that there's no filling because it won't go anywhere, just the bread. <laughs> you could play the exact same shot, Vic, and just uh, three or four feet heavier, just move that red one out of play. It is interesting way an end, the way an end will develop. We saw all those reds. Let's go, Heather, right up the stick. And then the shot by Heather allows this. There's still an opportunity here for Quebec to maybe get a, a couple out of it. And that's why you don't panic. The position of the rocks wasn't all bad, being just ringing the 12 foot. There was still lots of room to get your single. Come on, oh, Jess. Eight, seven, eight. The final stone for Alberta. Oh, for oh. Line only, no. Back. No. Stay with it. Yep. Which good. Yep. Yeah. Great yeah. shot. Yeah. Whoa. Bumping. Whoa. Bumping. Whoa. Bumping's fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Sit. Curl. Sit. Sit. <laughs> nice shot. And there's another one. And terrific judgment by the front end of Laney Peters and Jessica Mayer. Just a perfect freeze at the right time. That was a big shot. That over curls or under curls. It's a simple deuce. 14-4. Let's go. So forced to a draw for a possible single point here in six. Quebec and Marie France Larouche. Fifteen.
Milto on the left, Blay on the right. A lot of scrubbing early. Oh, Maggie. One yellow. One yellow it is, one for Quebec. I think uh, I was not prepared to be there. Maybe because uh, it was just on my dream. Inside, right out of her hand. Need to go hard just to hit a piece of it. Marie Francis walked away. It's really bending now. No, she'll collapse. That was uh, too much for me. But uh, right now, I think uh, I've been more prepared for that. And uh, maybe the, the end of the week will be different. In 2004, when the Scotties was here in Red Deer for the first time, losing the championship game to Team Canada and Colleen Jones. Well, to make a difference, she's going to have to come back in this one and beat Alberta and then the winner of course will move on to the semi-final tonight against Manitoba and Jennifer Jones will have it for you at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Welcome back to Red Deer. It's been a wonderful week. Alberta with the 4-3 lead. Quebec forced to take the single after that very nice freeze played on the last stone by Heather Nedewin and so Alberta and the Champions from the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton will have the last rock here in seven playing the Find Red good. Stones. Laney Peters. Five, four. Well, well. I think we start so many games well, when we get to this line. level. This well, place in the championship is so much on the line. Talking about Where? experience, well, and I guess well, we're going to do it one well, more well, time well, because well, the well, Quebec well, front end are struggling. No, 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 Yet no. again, they called a guard on the first one. It slid okay. in the rings. No, a hit was made. That's the red one already in the house. It was a nice guard played on the second one, but you throw such a disadvantage at your skip by missing those key guards. Right, right. And you have to think the Quebec front end in this experience in this arena with the fans and the television and the single sheet is just a little overwhelming. Well, you just heard Marie Franz in the interview. She felt she wasn't prepared for the. It's a lot of pressure. You know, you've got uh, almost 6,000 people Love here, the and the ice is a little bit quicker. Oh, the adrenaline is flowing, and we've all been there. It, it, it takes time, and that's why we talk about that experience factor. Just a foot heavy. Chance to roll inside. And Vic, the reason we talk about changing up the shot, you asked that question before, is I think the first thing that goes when you're nervous or feeling overwhelmed is the feel. And that's what's happening with these draws. Chance to Go, 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 go. Go on the roll. And the roll. Well, there's that brushing again. We heard uh, Heather say to Brian, about the fact that they worked on it. <laughs> so there are Beth Iskew and Laney Peters. Yes, they were here in 2004 as well, representing Nova Scotia. They were playing with Heather Smith Dacey at that time. Yep. Yes, Aline, yes! Well, the former Blue Nosers who have come west. Yes! Oh, yes! This has to get by That's here. Right. This is a struggle. Yes, this yes, is a huge struggle yes, for them. Yes, oh! Yes. Wow! Yes. Hey, terrific stuff. Brenda yes. Nichols and Marie Filto. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. I think everybody in the building thought that one was not getting oh. by. It was going to rub. It was going to roll away. Great brushing. Smart call by Heather, just peeling the guard. Nice throw, Jess. Good job. 
That's why Marie France asked Brenda to stay. Some de decisions to be made here. Okay, so can we go for them all? No, no, no. Remember, Alberta does have the last rock here in seven. I'd like to see how much of the red is visible behind the top 12 stone. Remark, if we put it here, we will make the double. We will make the double in the back of the double. Is it nice, this one? Russ, I'm assuming you'd love to hit, hold them to, to the single here if you're Quebec. Double available to, to, to get rid of some stones, double and hold the shooter. What can you do here? Well, there's the top double. You hit it almost dead on, but you might not be in the rings, uh, but still a pretty good call because that would only leave uh, one of each color in the rings, and it would be tough for Alberta this early in the end to hold their deuce. And I kind of lean in that way at this point in time. They're going to come around and play the little uh, soft tap here, I believe, or maybe even hit the top. I didn't quite hear the call, but they might even hit the top on a roll in behind. But whatever they do here, they're probably going to set up a possible yellow double. That was the discussion. I think they're trying to hit uh, third Come shot down. thinly and roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brandon Nichols. Bush. Might no, be playing no, B no, here no. now. No, Bush. Bush, whoa. Crap. Yep. Oh, 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 goodness. Oh. They made the double. Not sure if that was the one. Well, that was we definitely saw. they were trying to play that nice thin shot. shot, Vic. I'm not sure. Uh, if they wanted to actually remove oh, it completely if they were hoping for a little roll on top, but it does the job. Wow. And in behind. But it does set up a double. So if you're going to hit that particular hit, <laughs> what we talked about last year, you're hoping for a mistake. Yes. The mistake would have to come from Beth Iskew on this double attempt. Trying to hold the line. Mayor and Peters and run it back. Oh, she'll stuff it. Nicely done. Quebec still lying the one. That's the way to miss a double, though. Keep it in play. There's still lots of time to put that other red on the scoreboard here. Quebec has to be perfect not to give you another double. No, 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 no. I was just talking about the line here. I played a double. I played a lot. You played a lot, you said? Yes. I'm going to put more. No, I don't want more. It's correct. I just wanted to play. It's talking about the amount of ice. Looking for the hit and roll on second shot and behind the red top 12, trying to spread out the yellows. That's the hard part. You cannot roll way right, as we saw on the screen. It would jam, so you have to roll either behind that red one or set up another double here. Right. Me. No, no. Me. Yes. No. Oh. No, no, no. Clean it. No, clean it. No, no, no. Right on. Okay. Uh-oh. And won't be able to hold the shooter. Oh. Brandon Nichols. <laughs> Missing the double by uh, Beth Iskew the right way and hanging around and jamming is now giving them still the opportunity for the deuce. And a very simple deuce. Marie France is going to have to figure out how she can possibly hold them if this is made. To roll whoa, away whoa, if they whoa. can. Yep, yep. No, whoa. no roll, no roll, no roll. I will. It'll roll just a little underneath, and so is a double there now. I assume they were trying to roll to the other side to get more separation. I know there'd be an angle on those two rocks, but you have to think that Marie France, if there's a lot of distance, would not be able to make that double effectively. Much better chance for her to make it when it's 
front and back. Yeah, it's dead on now. Just a hair off center uh, one way or the other. Actually, you can hit a little high side, a little low side, make the double either way. Linda, as we get ready to play uh, skip stones here in seven, we've often said, you know, curling at times can be a a skips game, a skip stones kind of game. She, Marie Franz, hasn't gotten the performance from her front end in particular. Has she, though, been given the opportunity to save a number of times and not done the job herself? Well, I, you know, yes, she hasn't made all her shots, that's for sure, but it's really Whoa. tough when you're not getting the setups, Vic. There you go, beautiful shot. Good oh, that's a great save by the skipper, Marie Franz LaRouche. You might see Heather go to the open side here and just be uh, content with the blank Always end, uh, keeping hammer in the all-important eighth end. You go around the corner and you're deep. You're forced to one, possibly. Let's go way up to this wing and uh, go for the blank. Okay. I like that. There you go. Okay. There it is. Smart call. That's a tough one to draw around anyway. Yes. Being so close and being an opposition guard. And if you're in front of the T line, which you'd have to be, it would be a, a short run back. If you stick the run back, it's buried, and now you are forced to one. So good call. 110, Coach Cheryl Horn. Amy Nixon, of course. Longtime third for Shannon Clybrink. Bronze medal winner. 115 is good. Remember now, this is inside out. Earlier, we did see it. Start to skate a little bit. 106. But that's slower. Whoa, Jess. Whoa, Jess. Whoa, Jess. They're doing the split times. 4.06 on that split. Which is fast ice, by the way. Looks good. Mm -hmm. 14.8. Nice split. 14.8 is what I got hog to hog nice as well. Whatever. Long time. Nice. Good. Getting your sleep on. <laughs> nice off 14 8. Very 14, eight solid five. performance out of Heather so far, around 90%. The only little thing that is bothersome, probably, it reminds me a little bit of the Team Canada game, and that Quebec struggled in the first part of that game. Struggled badly, actually. Mm. Team Canada couldn't build much of a lead, and then finally, in the last three ends, Quebec turned it around. So you get a little worried when you feel like you're out pulling the opposition by so much, and then you glance at that scoreboard, and there's just one point difference. I know you have hammer. It still feels like it should be more. Huh? Okay. And it'll spin out, and so. It'll be a throw through for Alberta. And the blank will go on the board here. Heather Nedewin. First time Alberta has been in the playoffs since Shannon Clybrink's team. 2008. Interestingly enough, you know, we assumed we've seen so much of Alberta teams Olympics, the last two Olympics. And we thought, well, no, but you look, they haven't been here at the national championship. Throw. And through it goes. Blank right. on the board okay. here in seven. Well, coming up Monday, it's the NHL trade deadline. And TSN, of course, has you covered all day. Coverage beginning 8 a.m. Eastern time. Every trade, every deal, everywhere you are. Trade Center. 2012 on TSN and also available on TSN Mobile TV. A big news for the Oilers last night as Alec Hemsky signs a two-year deal worth $10 million. He was going to be a free agent. Some people thought he might move, but he's elected to stay in Edmonton. The Alberta champions are from Edmonton and the Savile Sports Center leading 4-3. As we go to the eighth, and with the blank, it means once again, Heather Nedewin and Alberta will have the last rock playing the Redstones. Well, a much better start for Quebec with that center guard out in front, and Laney Peters, who isn't playing badly, but on the Alberta side is their lowest player at 80%, comes a little bit deeper than they wanted. Oh. 
C'est large encore. Salut, 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 les belles. Non, reste large. Non. Ah, il va, là. Eh bien, elle est belle. On est là. Un shot. <laughs> Nine, ten. So two very Nine, nice ten. shots from Anne-Marie Filto, the lead for Quebec. Well, the Quebec team definitely needs Eight, them nice. here. 56, pretty close. Please. That one's in a great ten. spot. It's yeah. going to take two tries Hold to remove that. Whoa. Whoa. First Whoa. try is a tap. Right Laney Peters. That removes the backing. Nose. No, right off. No. Trying to get to the no, nose. The nose. Oh, and there it is. Great throw. Squirts the red stone out the back. Oh, nice Sorry. Right. Okay, good. Uh, Laney's just had a okay. wonderful week. Uh, won a Canadian mix with Mark and uh, Heather Dacey. Getting that combination of the player, a little in out release that comes from Amelie, and the spot on the ice and the later game position that we're talking about the ice straightening in general. That broom was only a couple feet out from the spot they want to land. No, 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 no. Yep, yep. Nice Great shot making here. And off to the inside there, the Battle of the Angles won by Quebec. It, come on. This is funny. I mean, the fact that that this Quebec team couldn't hit the paint with a draw before, and suddenly here in the eighth, these two, the front end, finds their draw weight. The switch went on. Again. <laughs> Again. Wow. Good. And now Alberta forced to uh, run the center guard. It is curious. Okay. <laughs> What are we doing here, uh, Russ? Putting up a guard? Yes, that's about all uh, Quebec's options are. You could, you could definitely blast, but that's not going to score you a steal. So, just going to keep trying to control this area. It looks like um, the red one for Alberta will stay. If you hit the yellow thin enough, if this over curled, for instance, you could hit the yellow thin enough, get rid of both yellows, and probably save the red one at the top of the forefoot. But nice guard by Quebec. I like this great feel. Okay. Yeah. Same kind of throw, Jess. Let's go right up. Peel! Jesse Hamer. Yep! Yeah! Hard! Hard! It's cute. Oh, Peters go, back it up, go, holding go, the line, go, go, running it, go, go, it back right and over, by. Right over, right and then the shooter will roll nice over and Jess. cover the edge of the 12. Alberta hoping for a missed guard here by playing that straight peel. Brenda Nichols puts on the guard a little longer. Beth, a former whoa, Canadian whoa, junior Jeff. champion whoa. as well. Like Meredith Doyle winning that back in 1997. And they'll just peel it. Got a girl. Oh. Almost got the little roll in. Not quite. Sugar balls. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We all know what that used to be. Yep. Yeah. That's boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> good for her. Yeah. They've improved in every department yeah. over the week. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. <laughs> 
That red rock could be useful. It's not quite in the ring, though. We can uh, redirect off of that to get to their own if they have to. Yep, 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 Like running in now, or I don't mind just peeling. Professor, we are. What do you like? <coughs> we run it. We kind of need to be right on the nose, and then we leave that there. Kay. No. Straight peel. Let's go, Beth. Nice clean throw here, right up the stick. Okay. Right up, Beth. Great guards being played, though. Mm. You, you think back, and I think most of the guards in the first half slid in the rings, it seemed, and these are peel. nicely yep. positioned. Whoa, sorry. Whoa, whoa. Trying to keep Alberta off balance a little yep. bit. Yep. Yep. Watch the red again. Uh, I think it's too whoa. high, but try. Uh, and they'll roll across the top, Jeez. trying for that little tip that nice may try. have pushed it in. Great try. Oh, we're trying. <laughs> Put up my hands like it was a field goal or something. <laughs> Great awareness by uh, Team Alberta to uh, not close. only make the peel, but to think of the other options. And if that ever sneaks into the rings, it would be huge. Close, close, close. I just don't like. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I drama. Let's <laughs> go. All right, let's play this out now. We're down to skip stones. Marie Franz Lourdes, another guard. Yes, I actually thought Alberta with that tight one in their uh, last end by Quebec. I thought they'd run it back. I really did. If you ever hit the yellow really thin, the top yellow on the left hand side, I think you'd save your red one and uh, jiggle things around. At this point in time, Alberta's going to have to draw the full uh, button with no backing. Marie Flans, the roof. This is her first. Whoa, 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 whoa. That girl. Needs to curl this pressure switch. Yep. Now they'll brush it at the end, try to get maximum finish. Very nice. So much pressure on these two skips, Linda. Well, coming into this, Marie-France LaRouche was down at the 10th position ranked as the last rock thrower because she was so up and down. This isn't a bad number for her, but it is that draw weight that has been a struggle. Heather Netta would talk about draws, that perfect freeze earlier block to deuce for Marie France. Wonderful numbers for Heather Nettowin. Player numbers, of course, are brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Follow it through, Jess. So no peel here. This is a, a run back, is it, Russ? Yeah, run back. And if you run it, run it straight back, the uh, yellow at the top of the eight foot will jam out the red one as we see it straight. But if you could ever somehow get the uh, guard thin enough to hit this top eight foot rock thin enough, I think you can save your red one. You want to cross this a little bit. Heather Nedewin in her first, and she's taken Mare and Peters right out of it. All on its own. And she does squeeze her own rock out from the Quebec sandwich, right. but Quebec yeah. continues to sit one on the lid. Mm. Second shot is Alberta. It's get out of there. Boy, oh, that uh, didn't work out the way they wanted it. And if you've ever, uh, if you ever go to play an arena ice, keep that in mind. It tends to get straighter. And Heather was happy with that when she let it go, but it just ran a little bit more than they expected. You're only talking an inch. Fantastic situation here now for Quebec. Time out. Time out being called. Each team is given two 90 second timeouts. And you can see in the background that Coach Camille LaRouche will make his way to the ice. No, bah, ça passe, mais on va se dire peut-être monter ça ici. Oui. Ou juste ça. Puis ça, puis 
par la roue, j'ai-tu capable de, de faire la roue et rouler? Non, c'est ça. Il n'y a pas d'espace. C'est même pas pour rien à l'avoir. Parce qu'elle va avoir juste à faire tape. Si, okay. Okay. Moi, je pense qu'il faut que je cache ça un peu. Ouais, ça mais plutôt jouer. juste jouer garde. Alors, remarque, okay. on peut jouer garde, là, mais ouais. parce que j'ai peur que si je laisse moindrement un trou, elle puisse. Dans le pire des cas, c'est freeze, là, c'est pas mauvais, là. Je pense ouais. que ça va être la pression. Moi, j'aimerais ouais. ça. C'est ça, là. Oui, parce qu'on est quand même dans une situation où on est au huitième. C'est peut-être bon d'essayer euh, de mettre comme la pression dit. comme euh, Brenda dit. Okay. Si, si tu es si freeze, ouais. c'est bon, bon aussi. Okay. Okay. C'est bon pour elle aussi. OK, c'est bon. Oui. Okay. Okay. Let's, go. Okay. Let's go. Mais tu joues juste comme... Well, they talked about trying to get that red one out, or if the red one on the edge can be used for Heather Nedouin to roll in and get at that shot rock. So then the discussion after they threw all that away on the red side was, do you want to guard or bring it into an angle freeze on the yellow and see if you can get a bigger mistake from Heather Nedouin? If you could just come down here and maybe tap this yellow just back a little bit, make sure your second shot and keep a bit of an angle, you do a, a multiple of things that makes this shot harder. But it also you're also sitting two, and then to play a run back, you might jam onto this red rock over here. So you, it depends how greedy you want to be here. I think you could just simply guard it and hope to steal one. But this is a nice opportunity. I'd like to see a little tap on that yellow. Interesting. Early in the week, the media asked Marie Franz, "You know, you have trouble with draw wages." I don't want to insult my father, but Camille makes the ice at the curling club and he makes it a little straight. So it took some time for her to figure out the curl here at the NMAX Centrium. Oh, that's perfect. And there's a little bump up to sit two. It was nice to have uh, Dad come out too because I think Marie France was just in that space of the game where there was a lot of rocks. She got a lot of great shots and she didn't want to make a mistake. Good advice and the rock ends up in a great spot. To draw it <laughs> I'm, just am, I'm just amazed here that it suddenly amazing. this whole team has uh, found their draw weight. I can come off of there. I've seen it over and over this week. With that it's team not in easy particular. though. That's the scary thing is that you got to no, kind of chunk it. That's the thing. Like we could get that. No. Time. Just a perfect curling shot. It's dangerous to hit that top yellow as we. Uh, you could run this did back on the for a double. So coach. Yeah. Straight back here. Daryl Horn will come to the ice. I don't think that's there. I though. don't think that's there to get both. Are you looking at Daryl? Well, what are you looking at there? I'm thinking. I'm well, thinking. We've we, got, I think we've got we, a draw. We draw. Draw. Concede the one. What do you want? I mean, I don't know if you can actually touch that one and bump it back at we all. We can but, try. But I just, we don't want to bounce off and give them two either, right? Yeah, so, so we draw to here. Yeah. If you get a little tap, that's I fine. think I like that. Okay. But be careful with the tap. Okay, now this is straightening up a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to throw the seven. They can throw the sweep the eight. Okay. Do you Good. think, Russ, you can throw enough? Wait to move it to score your single here. I wouldn't even want to try to be honest, Vic. I think it's. I guess it might be possible. You heard Heather say, "Well, we can try," but I don't know, boy. If you ever, if you ever fracture on this one, you're giving up two. Now you've lost control of the game. Why not take a lot more ice? Just put it out here somewhere, sink it into that area, and just give up the single. That's a lot easier shot. Let's go, if it's almost impossible, why try it? And uh, just to drawing the side of the forefoot. And as you always say, Linda, why have two shots in your mind? Yeah. And it's interesting because that was the first thing that Daryl said, draw to concede one. And then they started going back to the, yeah. can we, can we? Stay with it, yep. Seven. Okay, whoa. Stay with it. Whoa. Stay with it. Whoa. Final stone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay with it. Drawing yeah. against two. Yeah. One only. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Heather Netherin. Would be thankful just yes, to give go, up go, the yep, yep, go, steal go. now. Did she move it far enough? Oh, no, not quite. Great try, though. One yeah, one yard. Goodness. Nearly had it. So, Quebec. One the switch went on. They're a different team, and we're tied. Coming to nine. They're up and dancing here in Red Deer. Time for the M&M Meat Shop Final End Challenge right after the game. Go to finalend.ca, enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to the 2013 World Junior Curling Championships in Sochi, Russia.
The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card, and all participants will get an M&M discount. Well, it was a, resulted in a steal of one in that eight for Quebec. So we have a couple of key shots here. Well, a spectacular throw by Marie Franz, uh, having the timeout, deciding where they wanted to punch it. They could have just thrown a guard and uh, probably forced a one. They tried for the steal of two here and virtually was uh, was rewarded by getting the one. But that nice tap, leaving the angle. You could not hit that top rock if you're Alberta. So you worry a little bit about Heather Nedouin talking about tapping it back and maybe not even there it seemed at the time and you worry she might give it a little extra weight well don't worry because this lady throughout the week has showed us that she can throw the last drop despite the emotion we sometimes see so close to the tap beautiful shot for the steal so we're tied at four the key shot is brought to you by Scotty's facial tissue stylish designs for any room and you talk about momentum has it ever turned here? The center line guard goes up from Quebec. And then it's Lainey Peters, the lead for Alberta. With her first, what does she do? She throws it through. This is when it gets a little scary because we've said it looked like complete control for Alberta. It looked like Quebec struggling one more time. And yet with the score so close, you never know. Well, we know now, tied. And we know how Quebec can finish these okay. off. Back line! Okay. Okay, let's go right up the stick. During round robin play, Quebec was the worst at scoring in the first half of the game. That's the average points per end. Second half, second best. Yep. So we've seen this trend before. They obviously Back still line. have to execute in the final ends. Alberta still has the hammer, but it is scary for Alberta. Go, go, go! Go, 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 Marin Iskew on the brush will make the takeout. Shooter spills. Open back eight. Good sweep. Just like Emily. Now it's the Quebec second, Emily Blay, who early in the game had the lowest percentage of all players on the ice. Alberta is just going to try to throw some quiet weights, hit and stay here, hoping for a mistake out of Quebec, a rollout. Then you can walk out, peel off that guard, and a chance to blank and have Hammer coming home. Yep, yep, yep. Right to it. All the way, guys, all the way. Clean, 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 clean. 10 1, nicely done. A little bit of a funny thing about this situation is I think the way the first part of the game went, Quebec also doesn't mind the blank. They've seen some great shots in eight, putting up guards and getting rocks in a position. So I think if you told them partway through this game, maybe even after five when the uh, when the score was so close, uh, or at least Alberta had such control it felt, now with it being so close, they don't really mind this. Two guards in the free guard zone in the 10th yeah, end if you're trying stuff. to steal, and then you have a chance for sure. Ten. Oh, easy. Please. Clean. Yep. Oh. Yep. Great weight oh. control under yep. pressure. Did not overthrow oh. this. Yep, 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 yep. Gotta go. Go. Nice on 10 2. Nice thing. Trying to force that play out to the corner so Quebec doesn't roll behind come that on. center guard. Okay, wait. Vas-y, light, come on. Pour être sûr de garder. Hey, me. Put that for yes. So up and down the sheet. Yes. Despite that yes, center line yes. guard. Yes, 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 yes. Maybe well, something yes, here to well, force well, the well, hand. Well, yes, 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 Look yes, at yes. this roll. Brenda Nichols. 
Jaleev still maybe a half a stone showing. It was buried in and took the little uh, spin at the end. You can see enough of it. That's the surface of these stones. The running surface is such that it's very rough, and as it's grabbing, it gives you a lot of spin Whoa. at the end. Oh. Bad break for Quebec there. That was hidden. These are such big shots. You know, you tick the guard. You, Quebec forces you to do a single by drawing for two. And all of a sudden, the complexion of the game changes again. seconds is more no. weight than they wanted this might no. not curl oh my god what a has to Anything move just to catch a corner of it yep. has to move just to get a corner of it Beth Iskew with a untimely mistake <laughs> this is another one of those no-nos that we talk about you don't intend to do this Ticking the guard out in front would have been okay, but you cannot blow by everything. Just too much weight. Oh, oh, one in front of the forefoot here. Can't be deep and let uh, Alberta off the hook. No! Only three No, 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 no. Okay. And down on top. Sorry, on lance pas le bon split. Okay. On s'est dit cap. J'ai lancé 405. Could throw peel weight here and hit it really thin, go across the top and make a double. It would be difficult. They're electing to play the soft shot, try to get to the nose and bump one Back yellow line. to play. Oh, easy. Trying to keep the shooter in front of it. Close. Yep. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, I hear Brenda talk about whoa. the fact that she thought her split was pretty good. It still be, could be getting a little straighter no, and a little no, faster no, no. for them. Nicely done, Beth. Atta girl. So a nice, nice recovery job. for Beth Iskew after missing with her first. Good job, heard her say better weight there. A little hot on that first one. That's okay. Oh. It's tough. You're trying to do two things. You're trying to split the broom and you're trying to throw the right weight. Sometimes we do one of them correctly. And you're trying to keep out of your mind the outcome of the shot of tapping because that's yeah. when sometimes you give it that little extra mm. oomph out of the hack. Let's go. Skip Stones in this ninth of a 4 4 tie. Marie Franz LaRouche. She's looking for a guard. They're talking top 12, Linda. Like they tuck an inch here so they can't raise it. I'm really surprised they didn't brush that at the end, Linda. That curls another inch or two. This shot's not available here. Why? Just because it would have been hidden behind yeah, the guard? Right, right, and then you couldn't hit it dead. There's a wonderful view of it. You can now hit that dead on. You can't throw a lot of weight, but you hit it dead on. Something's going to stay out front. Your shot rock dead buried. You sweep that a bit and get it partly underneath. That shot's not available. I think they were a little confused about the weight end line. Mm. Heather's a wonderful hitter. Now we had one run a little straight earlier, so they just gonna throw a little less weight here. We watched Beth just make this shot with oh, yep. soft weight. Yep. Yep. Really oh. big brush oh. now by yeah. Marin Peters oh, trying yeah. to hold the line. Whoa. Here comes that Whoa. guard by the guard. Run it back. And the, she will spill them both. Big time, big shot. Heather Nedowin. I think she was surprised that it didn't want to come over. She was talking about how straight it was, but 
When you see the position of that shooter when she's finished, what a lovely shot. See beautiful soft weight and it still ran straight on her. Great throw. And she does wear her emotions on her sleeve. She's really good about going to the back, having her little sip of water and taking that breath because she is quite emotional. She's made some huge shots. Still, so no? still a center guard. Sorry, Linda. No, go ahead. And the chance to play an angle tap on the rock no. that uh, wait, was wait. just left by uh, check, check that girl, no? No, no. Alberta. Top four. No, 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 no. Sit. They want a top four. Sit. Better be in the paint here. And it's going to slip too far. Oh, and she thought she had the draw weighted. It leaves her with her last. It's downhill today, isn't it? The ice. Wow. And just leave that short of the rings. You're in such good position. How does Heather get to if you're in the top 12 foot? I like 15. <laughs> so a little piece of the blue. Full six. Let's go, Heather. Yeah. You got this. Nice throw here. For a couple. And a lead. Going to 10. Made a wonderful no, 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 no. shot good. with her first. It looks good. No, Line's be careful. Fine. Okay, just cleaning. It's got to be four foot. It's got to be four foot. In here, about this good. Good. Four foot. No, no, Bite no. the Line's blue. Fine. Put it 15. in the blue. 15. Need five. the blue. Okay. Got the blue. Alberta's got two. Time now for the m and Meat Shop's final end challenge, and the secret, secret word is meatballs. Go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word, and it is a secret word, let me tell you. So we have no idea that it would be meatballs, and a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championship. Sugar balls, <laughs> meatballs. Here we go to the 10th, and uh, what a couple of great stones for Alberta. And their skip, Heather Nedewin, to lead 6 4 now. Coming home, Quebec will have the last rock playing the yellow stones. Well, despite the fact that we've really felt that Alberta's been in control, Heather made the perfect freeze in six to take away a deuce from Quebec. The draw last end in uh, or an eight, where she was cutting down a steel situation, and then that beautiful that run back on her first in nine, just fantastic shot making. It was such a straight spot. She had the presence of mind to throw the soft weight, and it just curled enough, and a great deuce. Now remember that statistic of how difficult Quebec has found be a whole week really to get their deuce 27% yeah. of the time with hammer they've gotten two or more that's very right. low and they're going to have to manufacture it here <laughs> now, as you might expect with one in and up by two Alberta pitch one through to the bumper Laney Peters This is always the decision to make. Same thing when you're trying to steal and you're deciding how many guards to play and when to come in. We see many teams able to make the double peel. Manitoba comes to mind, for example. Jill Officer very good at these shots. So you have to be very careful about the positioning of those rocks, and they're quite even. Yes. 
two. Jessica Mayer. In last night's 1 2 game between BC and Manitoba, Russ, I think we saw one of the, well, just an absolutely perfect 10th end played by BC and Kelly Scott. Absolutely dead perfect. Two perfect tick shots right almost to the boards, and it was simple peels after that, and a great draw good. by Kelly. And uh, tick, tick. You know, whoever good. comes through here, we're going to have a great representative. There's four wonderful teams here. I think in Heather's case, they uh, they started like two and three, but the, uh, they, there were so many rocks in place. Some of Heather's shots were so tough. Yep. Once they've simplified it a little wee bit, she's making everything in a well-curled game today for sure. Two. And yeah. just slides behind. So did you have a formula of how many times you put up the center, okay. the second guard out in front, the second cool. corner? Well, depending on the score, obviously, the, with the two here, you uh, you obviously only need one mistake, so you can you can wait quite a while. But uh, the other the other situation is you would know, Linda, is that with this much curl, that red one can also be a guard if you have to. Um, but you, at somewhere between the vices, first and second, is where you have to make that decision. Wow. One second. Oh, okay. Normal? Did she call yeah. a roll for guard? Is that what I saw? That was the first signal. Do you like this or straight peel out? Peel wave, hey? Okay. Don't really need another red one in play. I'm definitely peeling this one out. Don't want to leave another guard and a guard in front of a rock that if they tap it back yeah. a little bit, now I have two Whoa. things to contend with. Whoa. Nope. Nice shot. Nicely done. Okay. Encore une autre. Part of your decision of when to come in also depends on what else is happening in the house. Because there is a rock in the rings, I would go in now. As far as I'm concerned, you have two rocks to work with. What? Yeah, it just depends how comfortable we are with going around that red one, probably, because if, if you go in, they peel a guard, yep, yep, yep. there's a few more chances to make a, a yep, yellow go, double. Go, 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 go. But we'll see what they do with that red rock. Heather seemed worried yeah, about it yeah, and then yeah. wanted to guard it. And it's kind of strange. It might be a shot at the double now. So they're gonna have a team talk about this one. So here's the scoop. We peel out, she's coming around, they get her to go. Okay? So if we can we can try for the double peel, but we have to nail the double peel, or we're giving up our two. Because she's got two guards, she's coming around. Or we guard right now. Any Processing. Do you want to call it to time out? Do you agree oh, with this? Good, but I'm, let's, I'm just going to have got tons you of guys. No, not at all. So okay. if we make this double peel and sit, she's going to be tapping us back, correct? Yeah. Right? We've got... For sure. This is junk. Yeah. And now she's got junk. So we could come a three, we could come a four, and she's got a double and roll. Oh, jeez. Okay, time. Time out. Okay, so we have Your a moment here. Sure. No, I'm... I <laughs> Why do you not agree? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's two guards. You end up with two guards, Vic. You go around one of them, they peel well, it. You go around the other one, the double peel they peel it, and you're hitting for three. Right. And uh, Heather doesn't it's, want to give up two. She could give up three with that formula. Well, sure, but that, that's that's for two. If we if we do something else, we might give them a chance for three. There right. it is. Right. So you, like, try this double peel and try to get in? Yeah, sure. Let's try Go for the double Straight peel. Straight peel is fine? Straight peel is fine. Sure. You like that? Yep. And, you know, if they don't put one in, perfect. You, Whatever. You okay. Can get out of the house. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with that. 
Back to my point that every once in a while there's a call that I think is 100% wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been to guard in that case. Exhibit A. <laughs> but great for Heather. I mean, she was thinking yep. it through and she got a little input and is very happy with the call now. You had eight. That was great. What and it's, it, 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 it is funny, too, because if you made the roll perfect, not that it's the right call, all of a sudden you, you might stop the team, uh, in this case, Quebec, from getting their deuce. And don't forget, the ice has changed a little bit. I wouldn't give them the automatic come around perfect behind a guard at this stage anyways. Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Beth Iskew. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Playing Whoa. third stones here in this Whoa. tent. One. Go, 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 over. Go, 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 go. That's Ooh. fine. Ooh. That's fine. Ooh. 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 Oh. So bad. Now you got two to go uh, behind. I know one of them is red. I love it because it's ours red. We're running back. Okay. Exactly right, Vic. Game on. Does it matter where this is, Linda, or just as so that's tucked behind? Yes, just behind yes, 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 I tell you, either they got the ice wrong or it's straightening out because that didn't move very much at all. And that was to Linda's and point. Uh, let them go around the corner guard. The ice is a little bit different. They might not bury it. And uh, that's a, you can't call it a mistake. It was a well-thrown rock, but that, that could end the game because if Heather rolls open here, there's two in the forefoot. And uh, how do you get your deuce? It's another reason why I don't mind coming in a little sooner at this stage of the game. If if you don't make it quite around, maybe they'll hit and stick leave you a pocket. If you make it perfectly around and the opposition peels, you can always guard it again. But sometimes at this stage of the game, it takes a little longer to figure out the perfect path in. That is going to throw quite a bit of weight here, which is not wrong, but you could throw a softer weight in the round. Ten. Oh, oh, easy, 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 Jeff. Skip stone. Easy. Clean. No. Clean. Add another one. No. Clean. No, 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 no. Let it sit. Let it sit. Let it sit. Let it sit. And it will. A little rub. And so it is Alberta sitting the two. David Nedowin. Man, that's so darn straight. Good. Nervous time for all the families, of course. And it's tough to sit. So where do you go here, Russ? I think you're going to try the straight freeze here, and uh, I think the audible would be just to tap that top rock back a little bit if it overcurls, set up a bit of a wall. You won't be shot rock, but Heather would then have a decision if uh, she throws the guard, misses the guard, you could still get your deuce. Marie Franz's mother, Denise. The third option would be go right around the corner guard. If Heather chased it and missed, you'd then have a double for two. Marie Franz LaRouche and her first. Desperate time now for Quebec. Have to make these count. Phil Toe and Blay. Maybe they'll get the little rub and roll in. Oh, that's pretty okay. good. Very nice. Pretty good. So now if you're Alberta, what do you do with it? To avoid a jam. Bad job, Mike. If we guard that, what does she do? Well, she's got this double. She makes that double, she rolls out. All right, so we just go here. Not too tight, though, because we don't want her to be able to use this, right? Yeah, but you got to... You With don't want to... Just guard that. Yeah, I like that, Beth. 
Same line as she just threw. Great thinking so. by Beth Iskew to throw the like guard that, and, and also yeah, to put it in the right spot. They, they originally called put it okay. tight. If you, if, you, if you put that yellow rock tight, so then a, like a raise leaves a uh, Quebec. In, uh, sorry, I got the wrong color. If, okay. if you put it in the rings, when, when Quebec comes down and hits it, they will be in the rings. So this rock really needs to be guarded in front of the yellow, but hopefully not quite in the rings. And there's no chance for two. Think a hair less. Is, yeah. Where do we want to be, Heather? Just the three, not in. So if she runs them back, she can't. Just the three. Three biting four. Okay. Right on top of that yellow, in line with it. Okay. Let's go. 115, 120. Oh, yeah. A deep breath. Final stone from Alberta. And Heather Nedowin here in 10. She leads move. by two. Gotta move. Gotta move. Is sitting two. Keep it moving. Hard, girls. Hard. Well, they got to get it across whoa, 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 center line. Whoa, take easy. away a whoa, possible whoa. raise. Whoa. Double. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 did she burn it? No, no I don't think sorry. so. No, she did well, <laughs> Jessica Mayer. Well, I have to say wow. that uh, wow, Lady wow, Peters wow. was ready to fuck her up. I know you're a teammate, but you're not touching my rock. <laughs> I crushed my rock. Heart's temper on me. Watch now. It's all that pressure, and then she loses her footing, and down she goes, and under her arm. And look at, and look at Lainey Peters was going to beat her with the brush. You're not touching that stone. Get away from it. Get up. Get up. If she hadn't, I'm sure the rock would have been burned. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So this is all that's left, is it? The yeah. angle raised back. Yeah, it was, it's it's a tough angle. It's it might be there actually. Uh, well, down. to make the double down center, it wouldn't be, would it? No. So the double will definitely be there if you hit it in the right spot. But you have to hit the rock right there on this spot, which allows the yellow to roll this way. Can you make the double and save that second rock? Doesn't have to push the red one all the way out. I guess that's the one way of looking at it. You just have to push the two reds out of the forefoot. Yes. So maybe like a board waiter. Yeah. Angle race to get oh. two to go to an extra. Oh. Marie Franz LaRouche all on its own. Angle it back. Oh, oh. It'll spill across the top. One more for Alberta. And Heather Nedowin is going to play in the semifinal against Manitoba. Make the final, Alberta seven, Quebec four. To the delight, of course, of the Alberta fans here in Red Deer and husband David and family. And so with the win, Alberta moves on to that semifinal against Jennifer Jones and the Manitoba champions from the St. Vital in Winnipeg. Quebec will drop into tomorrow morning's bronze medal game. And we'll have it for you, the semifinal, Manitoba, Alberta, this evening at 6 p.m. Eastern time. The 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotties, proud supporter of women's curling for over 30 years. How close was Marie Franz LaRouche to making this stick and forcing an extra? Probably half an inch, Vic. Uh, a little more curl. I'm not sure you could stick it with that much weight, but it curls another half an inch. That double's made. Just rolls across the top. Alberta would get one more to win it 7-4, so they're moving on.
Time now for the game story. Well, the same problems did exist for Quebec. Slow start, inability to get deuces, but they did pour it on in the second half. There was two draws that were very costly for Quebec and three and nine. And Heather Netta, when the big shot maker at 87%, really did finish off this game for Alberta. The game story brought to you by m and Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. She is a big part of the story. Heather Netta wins with Brian. Heather, congratulations. You're off to the semifinal tonight. How nervous were you in 10 when your teammates almost burned that rock coming down the ice? I don't know what's going on in sheet B. There's three players now, and two of them are from my own team that hit what we're calling a fart stemper. And if you were in Norway, speed bumps in Norway are called fart stemper. We were there for a spiel this um, whatever fall, and, and that, we got to find humor in it. But Lainey, I think she gets an assist with a good shove. <laughs> Tell me about the run back you made in nine. You seemed to have momentum throughout the game, but that was certainly a big shot for you, wasn't it? It was, and you know, the ice is straightening up a little bit. I'm really pleased that the sweepers could hold it, and then all of a sudden it kind of backed up. So yeah, that was a big um, big run back, and then the bonus was getting the two. Congratulations, and good luck tonight against Manitoba. Thank you. We'll look forward to this one too. 6 p.m. Eastern time, Jennifer Jones, Heather Nedowin, they played once on the curling tour this year, and Jones won it at the Autumn Gold in Calgary. Quebec will play for bronze here at the Scottish. The 2012 Scottish Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford. Official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. By m and Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one eye. And by Roll Up the Rim to Win. It's time for Tim. This evening, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Jennifer Jones, Manitoba, Heather Nedowick, Alberta, after Alberta, takes out Quebec and Marie France LaRouche. So, till we talk with you again at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, as our coverage of the Scotties continues, the Canadian Women's Curling Championship is here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN. <laughs>